Join Kids Hat Family. colors you just bought I need to draw and color a bird for my science assignment Sure tofu here you go Thanks Tia Hey tofu I am very hungry Can I have one of the chocolates you bought at the store Actually, Tia, I bought them for myself. Can't you wait till dinner? Tofu, you're so selfish. You're like the selfish giant. N no, I'm not. Yes, you are. Let me tell you about him and then you can decide. The Selfish Giant Once upon a time, there was a beautiful garden. It had big trees laden with fruits and many flowers of different colors and fragrances. The grass was so soft that it felt like a cozy bed. Different birds sang melodies in the garden the whole day long. The children of the village loved playing in the garden. They would come there as soon as school got over and would stay till evening. In the far end of the garden was a big castle. People often said that the giant who owned the garden used to live there. But it was empty now. Nobody knew what had happened to the giant and they thought he would never return. Till one day, the earth shook and there were loud thumping sounds. With each thump, the children were lifted off the ground and back again. Oh no! It is the giant! It cannot be. Why has he returned after all these years? The giant saw all the children in his garden and yelled loudly. What are these children doing here? This is my garden. Get out! Get out of here! All the children got scared and ran away. The giant then built a large wall around the garden so that no one could ever enter it. The next day, the giant went to the garden, thinking that he will pluck some fruits and flowers. But the trees were so sad without the children, that they shed all their leaves and fruits and lay bare. Even the flowers that had blossomed became so sad that they went back into the ground. Oh, I feel so sad. I don't feel like dressing up with my leaves today. Yes, without the children, 
Even I don't want to come out. I wish the giant had never returned. Who will I sing for in this empty garden? I am leaving. As time went by, winters came and passed. When spring came, it was lush green everywhere. The roadsides were filled with colourful flowers and green trees. Everyone wondered how the garden must look too. But with all the sadness present in the garden, spring did not come to it. The garden remained frozen. The only ones happy in the garden were snow and frost. With no spring to melt them, they became the masters of the garden. I will cover every tree of this garden so that it looks white. And so it went and covered every tree till all one could see was white. I am going to invite the North Wind to join us here. The icy cold wind swept over the garden. It knocked the chimney pots off the castle and rattled its roof. Then the naughty wind had another idea. My friends, let's invite hail over too and claim this garden as ours forever. Soon hail came down on the garden. All four of them got together and caused havoc. Hail and wind attacked the castle roof every day and took off its slates one by one. One day, while the giant was lying in his bed, he heard beautiful music come in from his bedroom window. He thought perhaps the king's musicians were passing the garden. He looked out of his window and saw that a small bird was sitting on the window ledge and singing. Has spring finally arrived? He looked beyond into the garden. The icy wind had stopped blowing, the snow was melting and frost was vanishing. Hail couldn't be seen anywhere. Instead, he saw the most beautiful sight. The children have broken into the garden. Some children had found a hole in the wall and had entered the garden from there. They were on every tree and were happily sprawling on the grass. The trees were so happy that they covered themselves with green leaves. The flowers also came out and the grass was smiling gleefully. Even the birds were chirping new happy tunes. What I did was terrible. I was selfish. I should have never ever blocked the children out of the garden. I will go and correct my mistake now. The giant went out and broke the wall down. From now on, this garden is your playground forever. The children were so happy that they hugged the giant. From then on, the giant played with the children every day. As time passed, 
the giant grew very old and tired. He wouldn't go out to play with the children. He would only watch them from his window. One day, he saw a little boy crying. So he went to see him. What is the matter, little boy? The boy's hands were bleeding. This made the giant very angry. Who has hurt you? Tell me his name and I will punish him. The little boy calmed the giant and said, Calm down, my friend. These are wounds of love. Then the boy took the giant's hand and took him to the garden of paradise with him. After some time, the other children came to where the little boy had been. They found the giant lying on the grass and covered with white flowers. He had died with a loving smile on his face. I really was being the selfish giant, dear. I am so sorry. Yes, you were. I will change that immediately. Here, please have some chocolates, dear. Thank you, Tofu. I am happy that you have changed, but it is dinner time already. I will now have the chocolates for dessert. For your favorite rhymes, stories and more, join Kids Hat family. Subscribe here.